Hello and welcome back everybody to this video. In this video I'll show you how you can take your uh, base unit and uh, tessellate it across our uh, grid to create uh, the pattern and design. And this is a simple fourfold pattern and if you're joining us for the first time, welcome to this channel. Uh, my name is Mohammed and uh, I am an artist and engineer from Egypt. I specialize in geometric art and I teach uh, Islamic geometry for free and I share all these videos and resources uh, on my channel and across my social media uh, channels and on my website as well so please make sure to check the links in the description for more information on how to learn Islamic geometry. So uh, if you're wondering what this is please go back and watch the previous video where we explain how we have um, analyzed this pattern to produce this base unit, which is a very simple pattern. It's beginner friendly and uh, that's why I chose this uh, simple fourfold pattern. So uh, let's begin. Now that we have our base unit over here, we want to tessellate it and repeat it uh, across these symmetry lines in order to create the pattern design that uh, we aim to fill you know the surface with whether it's um, the canvas uh, paper i'll probably be painting this on paper just to show you an idea and to show you a developed painting and uh, to walk you through all the steps so uh, stick around uh, till the end of this video so you can uh, get access to uh, free resources that i'll be sharing with you to help you on this journey so uh, let's begin. The first step would be to actually get our um, tape and this is just a low tack uh, masking tape and uh, we need to make sure before we start tracing that we uh, fix our paper to the surface board and uh, we have to make sure that our paper you know is basically just doesn't move because this is where errors will mean that we don't um, we don't get a, an accurate enough result at the end. Uh, so it wouldn't look nice. So uh, again, I take um, these pieces of tape and actually um, fix my paper onto the board. So I like to reuse uh, this tape which is okay, but you know, you gotta be careful with uh, some of it, which is just, you know, you make sure that it's, um, it's nice and tidy. And um, maybe I'll use a different one here because I don't want this to be affecting my tracing paper and uh, any such small effects, again, might introduce uh, errors, which mean that the end result wouldn't be enough and hence wouldn't be as pleasing to the eye. Um, I use my favorite you know uh, tracing paper to use as heavy tracing paper. I think the minimum I would recommend is 90 gram per square meter thickness so 90 GSM. I think this is 115 or 120. I'll share links uh, for all these um, uh, tools and and um, the material in the link in the description and on my website as well uh, on my blog um, you know where I share the tutorials and again when I place this uh, tracing paper I would actually have to also fix it using tape so what I'll do is again I'll get some of my uh, tape and I will make sure that it is fixed carefully and firmly uh, and that there aren't any, you know, gaps or um, that the paper is nice and flat onto the, uh, the surface. Okay. For this step, I will use my mechanical pencil and 
my uh, square set or you can use a ruler that's fine a square set is always better because it's got a bigger surface area meaning that it will you know stabilize better and be more fixed and firmed to your drawing surface rather than the ruler which can easily move around but all you need to do with a square set is just place one hand on it on top of it and draw with the other so this is a better choice uh, that I would certainly recommend and uh, let's get going so what I need to draw is the overall um, I usually start with the overall envelope uh, the overall you know grid and this is what I need to trace so I need to make sure that this is fixed to my paper and then I trace with my pencil so this line is and this whole envelope that I'm drawing isn't going to be a part that I'm going to be transferring to my paper at the end uh, maybe I would actually but it for me this is important so that every time you lay your tracing paper onto the original grid you don't actually uh, it's easier to place and easier to uh, line up onto the grid you have underneath otherwise you risk um, you know losing track or having errors and again these errors they build up and um, you know they they cause uh, you know building up of the errors just causes accumulative bigger errors in the end in the end result so again I'm just trying to line up my ruler or straight edge to the paper and you'll find that the actual straight edge or ruler is easily slipping on the transfer paper and unfortunately because the transfer paper is so smooth that it doesn't catch or it doesn't resist uh, the movement of the straight edge or or the or the ruler enough so again this is my final line and here it is so this is just to make sure that you know i've got the overall envelope and that every time i'm tracing the envelope you know uh, stacks on top of the uh, envelope underneath so making sure that my drawing is accurately transferred what i'll do is i'll also draw over these lines really quickly and i'm not um i'm not again interested in uh, transferring them at the end but they do provide me with good reference points so i'll just draw these two lines and i will draw i'll draw this line as well as you can see I'm running out of space but that's okay in my next videos I'll make sure that I've got enough headroom on the drawing table so now it's time to actually trace the base unit and for that i try to always draw the lines that are or the segments that are in line so for me here i've got one two three four different line segments so i'll draw these two lines at a time um, at the same time so um, I'll place my ruler here and I will just trace this line 
and this line together so that they're always you know in line and then I will trace this part and finally make sure that my ruler is lined up uh, almost perfectly horizontally and I'll trace this line so now I've got this um, uh, base unit traced. I can now take off my tracing paper very slowly and what I'll do is I'll leave a mark I'll say that this is uh, front so I'll just mark the F here so that I know which side is which because the more you do this it becomes a bit confusing. It can be. It can become confusing, and you might lose track of which side was it. So, guess what we'll do next? We are going to actually place this part to get the tessellation. And here you see, I am trying to line up the lines that I've drawn previously. And for me. I think this is about right. So what I'll do is I will now take this tracing state from underneath. So I'll make sure that once I'm happy with the lineup that I keep my hands on, on the tracing paper to fix it. And I try to make sure that there aren't any air bubbles beneath the tracing paper. I fix from either sides, maybe from here. And I try to stabilize it as much as possible so so that it doesn't move, uh, even if it's, uh, you know, we don't want any movement, even if a slight movement, we don't want any of that. Now, uh, there is a few ways to actually um, trace your drawing onto uh, the paper underneath. Uh, you could use something similar to an ice cream stick or a spoon and uh, you can start like, uh, you know, pressing against this uh, pencil marks, these tracing marks, so that they are actually transferred onto the paper underneath. And I've explained this in a previous video of mine, so have a look through uh, my, my YouTube channel and you'll find that I've used this technique um, in another video, I've explained it, but today I'm actually going to explain a different technique which I prefer, which can produce uh, more accurate results. And in this case, I'll just go over and, you know, trace this part again in order to show you how I, so again, the two lines, the two segments. I've got two segments here. You can see that the, the part that I've already traced and the new part. So what I'll do is I will just go over this part with my pencil again and then trace this part. I'll have this segment, which is a new segment. So I've traced this and here Remember, I've traced this one, so I'll trace both of these. I will actually go over them with the pencil so that they're transferred to the paper. And then the last segment is this one. So what I want to do is make sure that this square has actually transferred and in order to do that before taking off all my tape i just take a bit of it off so i leave the rest and i slowly try to see whether the line has transferred and you can see that it has so i'm quite happy with this you if you noticed i've gone through the actual original base unit again so this means that I've got these pencil marks now and I can now use this side to actually transfer the whole half underneath and I'll show you how to do that now. 
So now that I'm happy with the part that has been transferred, I take off this tape very carefully. I don't want to move anything and I don't want to um, tear any of my paper. So um, here you see, um, I can now line up the square again. And what I'll do here is, yeah, I'm quite happy with the lineup. Maybe over here, you can see over here, maybe needs a bit of, um, you know, lining up, but that's okay. Uh, remember, this is done by hand. As we said, we all make mistakes and, you know, we're, we're just trying to enjoy the, the process. Uh, we're not after absolute perfection because uh, it's done by hand, so you're never going to get it, um, you know, 100% perfect. But uh, here we are. So we've got these, um, um, you know, uh, two parts on the bottom where we can actually, if we go over them with the pencil and the straight edge as we've done before, we can trace this part and then we can actually copy also these uh, upper two parts so that we have a whole unit and then we can go on and repeat this whole unit and uh, again I'll show you how we can actually uh, repeat this in a way that makes it easier for us and um, so let's 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 do this uh, step as well okay so I've got these two parts So I'll do this part and this part and I'll do these two parts. Then these two parts and these two segments. I'll do these two segments. That's good to keep a system if you like. So you might actually want to start with this a square, then this square, then this square, then this square. So you go clockwise. It's up to you. Um, I'm just going with the flow, to be honest. So I think this is our last segment or two segments. So um, again, if we're unsure, remember, we remove one piece of the tape. We don't remove the rest, so we keep the rest intact so that it isn't affected. And we just slowly uncover to see that, yep, yeah, we've actually copied and transferred our whole unit. So this is good. Now, let's repeat this with the rest of the units and for me I can either go this way you know and repeat this so I'll trace this unit and then go over this unit and that's that's uh, that's how I excuse me that's how I actually transfer it and then I've got these two units so I take them onto here and so on and so forth so um, what I'll do is I will uh, leave links in the description for all these materials and all these tools that I recommend and their affiliate links so um, I will get a small commission at no extra cost to you um, if you decide to purchase uh, these items from Amazon and um, as always if you have any questions please feel free to leave them in the comment section I hope you've enjoyed this and uh, stay tuned for the next video where we 
continue the tessellation across uh, these, uh, you know, across the, the difference uh, across the, the surface. And uh, thank you so much for watching. If you found value in this video, uh, please, uh, please give me the thumbs up. Um, hit uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, the notification bell to be uh, the first to know about my future videos. And thank you so much. Have a nice day.